Hello, comrades, and welcome to episode 230 of the Terminus Podcast for the weeks of April 13th, 2024. I'm your host, Ellis, otherwise known as the Admiral, the only person who doesn't appear on the title card. With me, I have two Nicks, a John, and Mew the Enigma. Muathon the Enigma. No. No, we're not doing that. Anyway, the train will terminate at the station. Where are, are we? we? Chihalis? Chihalis. We are in it. Oh, okay. I mean, I normally do that, but I guess go off, girl. We're in Chihalis, Washington, <laughs> um, on the BNSF. This is the X Great Northern Line, I think. Um, Great Northern, and, yeah, somewhere in there. Yeah. Great Northern or Norpat, Northern Pacific. Uh, we might see some UP. They do have pretty frequently used trackage rights. I don't know the exact name of the sub. Uh, and anyway. That's that. Do you know the name of the Dom, perchance? Uh, it's well, and grave. it's, it's yeah. actually probably... It's probably <laughs> God damn it, Milky. <laughs> Milky came funny. up with that answer too that quickly. Milky, are you, Milky, have you been watching Fifty Shades lately? I, I have, I have. Milky, That's okay. boy. I mean, Carly made me watch that once. I don't know why you would... like and Milky, this, you could have just lied. <laughs> Oh, no, no, no. I'm not ashamed of the anything. No, 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 because I, I agree. Like, once you watch Fifty Shades, you have to admit, and you have to man up to the fact that I watched, I was man enough to watch Fifty Shades of Grey. Yeah. Okay, sure. I'm sure. confident sure. enough you know in my masculinity sure. that I can watch Fifty Shades. All right, we are, yeah. we are like, two minutes into this episode, and I already know it's getting demonetized. Uh, <laughs> that's okay. okay. Uh, you wouldn't be, you, you, could, you could maybe make a chocolate bar in ten years off this video. Well, no, because remember, remember, like, some of the last, uh, you know, within the last 20 podcasts, there were like a half a dozen of them that just randomly got taken by the algorithm and served up to tens of thousands of people. Like, if you scroll wow. back, th there are episodes between episode 200 and now that have like 45,000 views or more. And I don't, do you, uh, I don't know what happened. Make, do you make money off of that? I, I mean, yeah, I did. I had to pay taxes on it. How much, how, can I ask how much you made? Up I don't. I don't problem? actually know off the top of my head, but but enough, enough for it to be a problem. Um, <laughs> really funny. Enough for it to uh, not quite balance out the losses uh, on trading cards. Anyway, uh, buy trading cards. The Ironhorseman dot com. Uh, so we had two. No, sorry, three incidents from two railroads in the course of the last couple of weeks. The first one being from Union Pacific, which was apparently a stolen telehandler, which is some sort of boom lift thing, I think, uh, was oh. hit by a train. So good job train stopping the robbery. And then uh, the second one was a, another Union Pacific incident on the 14th of just like dumping TTX cars and containers all over the place in front of a grain elevator. Ellis, really quickly, are you aware of the existence of the Terminus Extreme Metal Podcast? I have no idea what that is. But I have a question. Are they younger than 10 years old? Like, is the yeah, podcast... Yeah, sounds like a very respectable middle-aged man. Okay, no, that's not, that's not what I mean. I'm saying, is the podcast younger than 10 years old? Because one month from today, I think, is our 10-year anniversary of making this Three. show. Pog. Wow. So, we got here first, and I found a new nemesis. Um, CSX <laughs> Transportation... It's okay, I'm not going to mess with the metal, metal people. Um, CSX Transportation also had an incident where they slammed two trains together, like, a couple hours oh. ago. Um, I believe there was a fatality, and... Oh, that was confirmed. Yeah, that's what I heard, anyway. I, that's... I Well... So, not confirmed from my point of view, we have, like, seven different videos of this thing, and I know at least some crew members were sent to the hospital. I don't know yeah. if anyone is... Like, I can't say with certainty if anyone is dead, but the time this comes out, the world will probably know. 
Um, but yeah, this is the closest thing we've had to breaking news in a while. Uh, so, developing story. Not entirely sure how it happened. I think it was in dark territory, so no signals. Just a dispatcher Ooh. mix up. Um, yeah. Um, so I think just out of respect for the potentially deceased, I'm going to say that this is, this is the wreck that gets highlighted. I know we sometimes use the term best wreck, but I'm not going to use the term best here. Uh, you guys can side with me or side against me or pick one of these other two. I mean, I think the second UP wreck is pretty crazy looking. The first UP wreck, I guess, has a good story to it. And not wanting to vote for this where somebody may have died is probably a very valid, uh response so what uh what do you guys think for quote-unquote best wreck i i think cf set smacking themselves for lack of a better word i agree uh, did the csx wreck have somebody die or did the up wreck uh the csx, yeah, the CSX wreck wow. potentially again potentially. I, I i can't confirm anything the the change magazine article here on uh the fort link says that uh, non night threatening injuries. Okay. Occurred. Okay. So so maybe maybe no death. Maybe no death. Also, I apologize if there was just a massive sound that the audience heard. A nice breeze came in through the window. It felt great. Uh, but <laughs> oh. but I noticed the waveform go a little crazy. <laughs> nice. So Discord noise suppression probably caught it, but this just goes straight from Audacity into the podcast, so no Oof. noise suppression at all. Uh, sorry about that, audience. It, I just, man, I'm enjoying the fact that it's nice weather. So, uh, one vote for the CSX rec. Do we have any other votes? Yeah, I'm going for CSX. Okay. I'm just going to go with CSX. Okay, so that's that, that takes it. CSX, uh, congratulations, question mark? It's pretty bad. Yeah, it's Why definitely. Get better soon. I mean, the first UP yeah. one's just funny. That's just hilarious. Yeah. Yeah, the telehandler is hilarious, but what minor caused the, the UP derailment? Scheme. The second one. The second UP derailment, the one on the fourteenth. I I have no idea. It's a real mess, though. Probably just UP being UP. I mean, it's it's like it's a lot of derailment. Like the the list of pictures just keeps going. I invite everyone to check these out in the cargo stock linked below. Uh, there you can also get to our. There's the wind again. You can also get to our website as previously mentioned. You, our Discord uh, and the the folks that we support, the cool people, community channel, Durban Model Works, Century of Steam, which you probably don't need us to direct you at, but you know, if you're watching us and you haven't heard of Century of Steam. Like, you're going through this in the wrong order, man. Uh, or where you're gateway drug, in which case, that's fantastic. <laughs> uh, yeah. Pretty soon you're going to be joining Mall Railroad Clubs. Uh, and speaking of which, uh, the nice scale trains visit to the Providence Northern Model Railroad Club is a week from when we are recording this. It's Monday the 22nd. So, if you happen to be I... in the area, feel free to stop by. Um, hey, look, a passenger train in the camp. Cascades? Oh my god, it's the Cascades. Oh my god. Uh, it's, an F it's an F40, it's a cabbage. Oh. Yeah. So, Frantically Ellis, saluting. I um, like how the two the two number boards are different fonts. Did you guys see yeah, that? Right. That's, yeah, that happens. <laughs> that's great. Uh, actually, you, you would honestly be surprised how that almost, how that happens more often than you would think. Like, that's not so funny. It's not uncommon, but it's it's pretty, pretty, not rare. It happens. Yeah, yeah. but I definitely number boards are. Oh, go ahead. I was just gonna jump back, and I was gonna say, come visit us at the Providence Northern, uh, eleven seventy five West Shore Road. I'm gonna link the Providence Northern thing in the cargos. Uh, I actually, I'll put that in the advertisements. Uh, um, I would like. If any of you go, I mean, I know Ellis is going to be there. I would <laughs> love to have some uh, photo to, for you to take some photos of some stuff. Oh, I, there, uh, there, there may be some. Yeah, no, I mean, Scale Trains is uh, kind of making waves right now. Are what you, so have you been the one emailing the president over there? Uh, of Scale? The people that are doing yeah. the road trip? 
Yeah, have you been the one emailing? Yeah, Stephen? I've I've been on the ball with that, but they haven't talked about like what they're going to be doing precisely. Well, they usually what they do because they did one in Flagstaff. They typically just bring a display and mm -hmm. talk about the history of scale trains for a few minutes, and then sit around to talk, and then they leave. It's 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 not it doesn't take very long. Yeah. No, they were like, we're gonna hey, show up and then set up and then do our thing and then pack up and leave in the span of about three hours. And I said, okay, sure, why not? You know, it's a Monday evening. I'll 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 come around. Um. This hey Ellis, good news that Terminus Heavy Extreme Metal podcast, their oldest, their first episode is from three years ago. So you got seniority. Yeah, I think. Yeah, appreciate it. Uh. Okay, I think my first article is a repeat, but I didn't have the date last time, or I don't remember having the date. Uh, the T1 Trust open house, where they're going to have the effing frame there, uh, is May 10th to 11th, or May 10th and 11th. Um, I just like the phrase, we are planning to surprise everyone at the open house and bring the locomotive frame with us. So That's not a surprise. You just, you just said it in the post. You just said the thing. It's in the poster. Like, it's just a giant picture of the frame and the words open house. Jeez, Ellis, way to spoil Yeah, it. I know. Oh, sorry, shame on me. It's an um, open secret. That, that's secret a good point. Um, and I'm in an open relationship. Me too. Really. Okay. Oh, um, I was kidding, Milky. <laughs> I am. I was a Theo. Uh, I'm, I'm kidding too. I swear. <laughs> First, we're, we, we just we covered... Fifty Shades, Possible Death, and Open Relationships in the first ten minutes of the podcast. Awesome. Can that be the title uh, of the podcast? No. Fifty Shades. No. <laughs> no, no. no. Please. We, we Fifty Shades and Open Relationship. No. Uh, anyway, uh, no, I have I have news that I haven't talked about before, which is that... Oh, wait, no, we have talked about this before. Uh, but this is the official post that 4 and 8 will be fully restored Mango Gobbles. Uh, the main Gobble narrow gauge... Brishin and Saka Railroad number eight, which is the largest two footer, and Monson Railroad number four, which is sister to currently actually I'm not sure if three is currently operating. It may be it Five. may be down for like basic maintenance, but it was operating very recently. Point is, uh, those are like the last two main two footers that have not been restored to operation. So between uh, nine 10, which I guess isn't originally a main two-footer. 11, that the WWF is working Imposter. on. Um, 3 and 4 from the uh, from the Monson, and then 7 and 8 from the Bridgeton and Sacco. That is I really, so many locomotives. Oh, I quite th I thoroughly enjoy that these are all sequentially numbered. Yeah, they're, it's, it's amazing that they're all like there are no duplicates, considering they're from like four different railroads. It It, it is so <laughs> nice to me that they are all one, two, three. There's no one. No. There's this three, four, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Three, four, seven. Where's five and six? There are no five. And six. Those are from different railroads, Achilles. Well, we where's to... five and six? God damn it. Well, well, nine was ask... nine was six. If six that helps. To nine. Yeah. If six was nine. Anyway. Um, nice. Yeah. Well, Jillies, you're not asking the real question. What about one and two? Was there a one and two? There were several. There were so many ones and twos, dude. I have a spreadsheet for this. Um, this yeah, but I mean, surviving. This is, no, we should just scrap two footers, like you know, no, let's be real, no, guys. Dude, straight to jail. You're going to jail. In fact, I'm giving you a point. No, what? I literally, I didn't say anything controversial. <laughs> no, no, what? Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm innocent. I'm sorry, I'm innocent, say... I swear. I didn't say anything. Says the most controversial thing. Responses, I didn't say anything controversial. Like, you could have you could have talked your way out of that one. You talked your way, like, all the way into it. Um, no, wait, no, I don't deserve a point. Take the point away. Well, that's, no, it's oh, too late now. Four score and seven years ago, I did not have a point. But you then, still don't have a point, but I've given you the one. The hate. The haters, the haters, decided that apparently I can't have an opinion anymore. What's well, it's mainly coming for the one with points. You know what, Julius? You do have a point. Ellis just gave it to you. 
Fuck you, Mew. I just made Fuck that off. joke. <laughs> Mew is the person who said the joke louder. That's the second time. Uh, Give Mew a fucking point. <laughs> no, no, I'm gonna... I get to hang out with Mew next weekend. Um, Yay. Anyway, yeah, we're going We're going to the WWF next weekend for a possible work session, but definitely to ride the rail bus. And, and that's why you won't give him a point? Yeah. Um, because he has the correct opinion. Um, if I fly to New Rhode Island, you won't give me a point. I mean, I... I Will mean, you rescind your opinions I don't, about two here's, here's the thing. No. Here's the thing, O'Jillies. Well, you could do that. I just don't believe you will. I would like to apologize for statements that I made. <laughs> um, I think two foot is the greatest thing since sliced bread. I truly do. Um, and I would like to maybe lose a point. Um, I feel that I have been rehabilitated and I can be a functioning member of society. Um, so all that to say, I would like to maybe go down to half a point or no points. Okay. Uh, the Berkshire Scenic Railway Museum also got a $10,000 grant for their uh, RDC. Speaking of rail buses, I mean, what is an RDC? Yeah, who? Very large rail bus. Um, but yeah, this is the New Haven number 42. It has a name, Firestone, which is cool. Except, Ball. you know, tires, Firestone, trolley conspiracy, bad. Yeah. Um, but uh, coincidentally, it will be used for wheel work, the money. Uh, I think I've ridden in this. If this is the one that they had operation previously, I've ridden in this RDC. It's the only working RDC that I've ever laid eyes on, because, let's face it, most of them are broken. Uh, yeah. Ellis, you gotta come back. You gotta come back to Connecticut. Go to Danbury. You, you gotta come back. You gotta go to Connecticut. Do I have, in Connecticut. Do I have to go to Connecticut? Operate. Though? Okay, consider. You and TJ still have the free stuff and Gloria too from... Uh, from Kent. Oh yeah, that's right. They have a, they have an operational RDC. I'll be honest. I don't know where the free stuff it went. Oh, <laughs> I don't. Man. I don't know where also, it went. And honestly, I don't even. It's not like it's a lot of money to get into the Danbury Museum. We should just go. Yeah. I, I've never. I, I think I've I, been. I've been inside once. I want to go. Well, Milky, you want to go, Milky? You fight. You come and we'll go to we'll go to Whoa. Danbury because they have. Uh, you come. They have the New York Central Electrics there. That's yes. true. Uh, Agilis, you're you're really close to getting that point back, buddy. Uh, anyway, <laughs> Milky, you're the you're the other person with local service here, so I'll let you take it. Okay. So <laughs> the, the Albany and Eastern Railroad has a photo freight. Behind San Maria Valley 205. Oh, I saw this it post will... and I was like, "Why is this special?" And I now I see, I see the logs. Yeah, Pogger Logger. So it would be a two-day photographic special. If I had to have the guess, probably on the Mill City line. Oh my uh, God! So that way they can have. <laughs> Without, oh my god, uh, sorry. Oh my god. Uh, I just looked at the price. <laughs> yes. <laughs> How expensive I, is it? I strongly disagree with the price. Uh, $900 for two days. Ooh, that's not worth it. Damn. What is it? What are you, what they think, they'd be thinking they'd Lero or something. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, they have, they have a nice selection of freight cars, don't get me wrong. But, um, no. Uh, for $900 I, I like in two there. days, I, they better be providing me with a hotel room, food, hookers, blow, like, everything I ask for. Yeah, the, the, the reasoning that they give here is, wait, well, they not, sort of line, that the cost will be much higher. And also having multiple crews to provide morning and afternoon opportunities, okay, that's insurances fair. to the railroad, and possibly two locomotives to be used for the event. Uh, possibly. I I get why, because Union Pacific does fucking things with their brass on leases. Mm. I'm just going to say that outright. They do. Uh, oh, is it? Oh, I forgot. That's right. This isn't. They don't own the branch. It's a UP lease. Oh. Yeah. 
So it's still technically owned by UP, so you have to comply with UP's rules, though. Yeah, and UP's yeah. deal is like, yeah, sure, you can run on our track if you pay us a gazillion dollars and have absurd insurance. I know someone who went through this. Yes. Man. Yes. I... Not gonna specify how I know, but I know that it's bad. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what's up there. Sumter has a new archive building. Nice. And they're currently filling it up, which is great. Because they have... Probably at this point, thousands of different items in their archives. Uh, mostly books, but there are some Sumter archives in there too. That's Niles Canyon. I mean, that's is... very cool of Sumter. I wish they would respond to my email because I would like a good listen. If you are listening to this podcast and you have a good photo of Sumter nineteen that you would like to see on a trading card, uh, hit me up. Please hit Ellis up. Yeah. He, stay, he stays up all night thinking about it. Please. Yeah, I'm just not really happy with a lot of the photos that are coming out this batch, even though I'm really happy with the cards themselves. For the record, I yeah. took Matt's suggestion, and I've uh, like unofficially, officially named the batch Into the Woods. Okay, that's a good one. That, that's a good name. Yeah. It is. I, I, I dig it. Anyway, what carry I on, Milky. What I also dig is... Niles Canyon we store in the 1744 still. So they're in the process of removing the lettering on the tender so that way they can be paying back to SP. Oh. Hey. Look, I mean, you refresh my memory. Is that the one you have the model of? Uh, No, the one that I have the model of is in Dungsmere, California. Oh, okay. That's the one we have the but trading card of. Yeah, it's the one that we do oh, yeah. have the trading card of by trading cards. Although, Niles Canyon also is celebrating the 100th anniversary of something that, perhaps in a different timeline, could have been a trading card. Clover <laughs> Valley number 4, which is a 2662 tank engine Maui. That's a good one. Was I, this uh, was this originally Weyerhaeuser, or was it something else? Uh, Clover Valley Lumber operated out of... Loyalton, California, which was on the end of the WP branch. Oh, okay. That was about 10 miles long from Loyalton to the WP Main 9. Where yeah. did it meet it, the WP? It met the WP at... I think the name of the junction was Hawken Junction. Which is by where? Uh, it's in Eastern California, almost at the Nevada border. Oh, I will talk about this. To be honest, I wouldn't be opposed to dropping this one in instead of the other 2662 if we could get a better picture. It's it's just it all comes down to pictures. That's the that is the most difficult part of making these damn cards. Uh, oh, unless you, unless you can't find uh or uh, Howie. Tubes. Yeah, Howie. Anyway, so down here in California. But anyway, so that's all my service. Well, thank you. Um, okay. I have a couple of things. Oh, I just didn't write them down. Go ahead. Um, I've started collecting Amtrak models, and I have been a compulsive Amtrak purchaser. Oh, no. Um, so, that's fine. I have Amtrak stuff. You just don't have, like, um, you just wanted to say that? I just want to say that. Okay. Um, it's, this, is, want this, to is, say that. this is like Ogilvy's is confessional. It <laughs> is. He is. You know, this, that's um, what this episode is called. I also have uh, been slowly acquiring some money for Mountain Pacific. Yeah. On Amtrak. But, uh, but Southern Pacific will happen. Or Southern Pacific. Mountain yeah. Pacific will happen. Uh, I mean, either way, it's good. Milky. I were based. Um, but, uh, yeah, I've been pretty busy so no model train stuff out of me but rail fanning has been cool didn't really see anything cool but i mean you, know, you get to see like a like bunch that. of freight trains which you know i i think you know i don't get that so i think it's pretty good i think it's pretty cool congrats i think you're pretty cool oh thanks are you gonna visit um 
Probably not this year. Damn. Oh, well. Uh, anyway, so is that all the local service from everyone? I know this is a, this is a late episode. Like, we started at 10 p.m. We started figuring stuff out at 10 p.m. Uh, Wait a minute. I already visited this year. Hold on. <laughs> I, mean, I already Wheel. visited you this year. Wheel. I mean, that's true. And Sweet. I probably will next year. Because I'm going to yeah. go to the E again next year. Yeah. But I probably won't visit you explicitly. I'll probably stay with my dad somewhere. But Well, it still counts as visiting. We, we all get to hang out at the E together. E. I kind of hope it becomes a recurring thing. That was a lot of fun. I didn't get any sleep e. that entire weekend, but it, man, it was a lot of fun. <laughs> uh, Those are some of the best weekends. Yeah. I, honestly, though, I, I cannot describe how exhausted I was. Uh, anyway, if that's all of the uh, local service stuff, it's time for... Welcome to the this is the one time where Bender would have been better served, like, on the other side of his house on his phone. Local service! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> I have to make use of my new headset, okay? Oh god, I forgot, <laughs> you, I forgot about the headset! <laughs> next, April, next April Fool's uh, podcast, can we do um, ASMR no. locomotive versus? No. no. Absolutely. No. no. I wait on drivers. Yeah. No, no, no. No. Good day, Machina's power. You can go and go, Ojilius. Go and get your 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 uh, <laughs> your four foamers like voting block super pack whatever it is. Make a foamer <laughs> podcast and then do ASMR locomotive verses. Okay. Okay. You can do that okay. while uh, while everyone else is away in in uh, Colorado, if it lines up. Okay. Well, I. I, I would say you have my permission, I, but, like, you I don't need actually. my permission. Welcome to the Chili's ASMR All right, podcast. there goes the point again. <laughs> no, <fuck>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. You're not, you're not, no, we're not getting out of this one. All right, we have, a, we have an incredibly classic matchup, right? This is something that I'm, I would be surprised if we didn't do it already. Or rather, I suppose I am surprised that we haven't done it already. Maybe we did, maybe we didn't. Uh, Union Pacific 844 versus 2102. I know 2102 is relatively, Reading 2102 is, relatively speaking, the newish hotness. Um, yeah, Mew, did you decide which one you wanted to represent? I think I will do 2102. Okay. All right. Interesting. Mew has been uh, staring at these cards, so now he knows all the numbers. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. Not uh, that I don't. Can I have a uh, photo of 2102 and 844 by whoever by is uh, representing me, 844? Me want 844. Oh, okay. So okay. you guys, so you guys are doing the three aces, four aces grudge match just by proxy. <laughs> like this is <laughs> this is the Korean War of locomotive verses. Yeah, dude. <laughs> yes. I said I said they couldn't do that. That's what they wanted to do. Uh, they figured out different ways. Yeah. This is, this is a Western Pacific, Western Pacific eight post. Fuck the Western Pacific. Dude, what if Western Pacific out? had like good engines? That'd be crazy, dude. Wait, what's wrong crazy? with the Western Pacific? What? Why? Um, are we... fell out because they merged with UP. Because I have to turn on Milky. Yeah, now, but so did Milky like said. everyone. I mean, yeah. Milky said a bad word and he can't come to my <laughs> he can't come to my sleepover now. Ah. Oh, oh look, it's a double header. Okay. Double header. Oh, that's a tiny little image. On the main line, mango gobbles. A. Hey. Uh, I mean, waiting for waiting for four and a quarter to come back so they can do absurd shenanigans. Hey Bender, you should do the double header eight forty four dude with forty fourteen. Oh wait. Pensive emoji. Pensive emoji. Wait. Why? Why? Oh wait. Uh, eight forty four in the back. Oh yeah. Okay. I, that that's less of an impact than I thought you were going for. Yeah, eight forty four yeah, was was in the back. I was there for that. So it was with Julie said Milky. Hey, Same. Yeah. Here we go. Wait, you were there, Mew? Oh my God, no way! You guys were there. Yeah, we. we <laughs> I went out for the for the one fiftieth, and Milky. We went out to to Utah. You that, that did, was my did, first you genuinely, trip. Yeah. did you genuinely? Did you genuinely? 
Did we you genuinely in. forget me running into you one of those days? That was uh, you? That was me. Wait, what? Okay, when? There, there were a couple of people that did. Um, were you the one that met us at the station? Uh, I remember running into you guys by 4014's pilot. Oh. That was probably using my real name. Really? Okay, okay, okay. I, yeah, I, that I was did. that was a whirlwind. See, I get caught up in... I That's fair. ran into another fan of the show yeah. like 20 minutes after that, and that's the thing that I remember. Okay. Um, yeah, I remember fair. that, too. You yeah, know, at that point, I only remembered about Ellis from college. Yeah, and that's the other thing. Like, I didn't know you that well at that point. Like, I, you know, I again, I can't uh, recall any of the interaction, but, like, I probably recognized you, and it's like, oh, that's, you know, you're that guy. Uh, yeah. You know, if it was now, it would be a totally different story. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Base definitely. The top image is, like, kind of rare. Rare? I think it was, like, during the end of the Greyhound period when it got renumbered to X. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Like, We're doing Locomotive Versus. I totally forgot. Uh, yeah. Unusual LSL. Unusual, indeed. Sorry, I was so Literally. taken. I was so taken with the fact that I was relearning that I met Mew again. <laughs> <laughs> no oh, worries. Good. I'm trying. I'm trying to use the time to remember which uh, page the local versus uh, score sheet was on. It's, we don't. Oh, we don't uh, need that. No. Alrighty. Yeah. You don't, uh, you it's, don't need we, it. we have it here on the on the document. I'll keep track. Um, Alrighty. And we don't actually have like a regular score sheet score sheet for regular locomotive versus because it's it's simple enough, you know. It's before I started Fair. really overcomplicating things. And for the record, I'm going to give the ball like I'd prefer to give the ball to uh, to Bender here, uh, even though I feel like a 44 has some kind of advantage. I think Mew has some kind of advantage. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I'm with you. Okay. So. Let's go. Bender. Yeah. What's your first stack call? Uh, driver diameter. Oh, that's a good one. 70 inches. 80. First point yeah. for 844. Bender? Uh, boiler pressure. 240 PSI. Re Hondo. Nice. Let's see, uh, water capacity? Water capacity. Uh, 19,000 gallons. 23,500. Okay. And it begins, uh, Builder. <laughs> uh, yeah, technically, should I put what they were originally built? No, uh, no, 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 they... no, 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 no. Okay, it, what so it what's on the card? Reading. It's, uh, Alco over here. What were the T... What were the I... Who were the I-10SAs built by? I know we made an I-10SA Baldwin. card. They're oh, okay. by Baldwin, yeah. That's why I wanted that clarification. Yeah. Die with yeah, the no, statue. Yeah, if it's that heavy of a sop we build too, um, I'd say the sop. Yeah. yeah. It's, it, it's unrecognizable. We die by the statue. All right. Here, Bender? Here's, here's where the problems begin. It's technically burning oil in these pictures. Uh, oh, do okay, you not have uh, yeah. not, not blue it. and oil? Even though I have cool stats, no. Uh, well, <laughs> Bender, okay. you're you're going by the stack seat, which has your cool no, tender. You're right. Live or live by the stack sheet. All right, cool. Live by the stack seat. Die no, by it. Uh, whatever. Whatever, cool. Fuel capacity is Can that what you're asking? Capacity? Yes, fuel yeah, capacity. Fuel. That. Alrighty, twenty six tons. Yeah, twenty five. Okay, I don't know why oh, you no. went for the tender stats. Uh, because it's a right. decently sized tender for UP. All right, yeah. yeah. Okay, local base ID. Eighty-three forty. Two hundred seventy-five. Wow. Good. Yeah. Two yeah, to four. Like that. Yeah. Number in class. Ten. Thirty. Number built. Ten. Thirty. Okay. Well, wait a minute, because. The FEF nope. was, there was a 1, a 2, and a 3. Yeah, well, and these ten, are the FEF 3s. No, yeah, we're talking about... Just, yeah. All of FEF? 
Why would we count no. all the FEFs? Because they're basically they're all the same. No, if you want to lump no. them into a class, two and three are it. Because one has 77 inch drivers. And three, or two, is also lighter than one and Bender, four. I'm trying to help you. I know, but also... Yeah, but uh, like it's wrong. <laughs> yeah. Okay, whatever. Like, I, you know, like, I feel the same I, way about the S2s, but they had different equipment. And it's just kind of like, it fucked me over sometimes, but, you know, it happened. Didn't the S2 still have, like, 25 builds or something? Uh, technically 40 or so. Okay, that's... You, you got enough. Ooh. You got plenty. Right. Uh, and... Hehe. <laughs> anyway, uh, Mew? Uh, hmm. High-pressure hmm. cylinders. 25 by 32. Oh, 27 by 32. See, you uh, have big cylinder. Yes. Uh, attractive effort. 63,750. 67,984. Oh, okay. Mm, factor of adhesion. 4.24. 4.09. Oh. I'm sorry, I'm going to be cheeky. Booster oh, tractive effort. Uh, technically, I mean, I have a... <laughs> the diesel behind you doesn't count. <laughs> it's a <The> helper card. <laughs> Eleven thousand one hundred pounds. There's no, there's no diesel in this picture anyway. A uh, hundred and something thousand pounds out of an AC powered Mac seventy. <laughs> Sam. Not pictured. Steve Lee at the back pushing. <laughs> <laughs> Two foot <Real>. pounds. <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay, considering... Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna go tubes. Uh, 198 at two and a quarter. Oh. Ah, uh, that's less than I thought in quantity. 291 at two. Okay. 291 is a lot of effing uh, tubes, dude. Four, oh, yeah. Four to nine. For superpower, yeah. Flues. Uh, 58 at five and a half. Oh, that sort of explains it. 50 at 5.375. Oh, wow. oh, I'm gonna kill the redding. It's over, it's over. <laughs> Alright, 10 to 4. Um, flute tube length. 19. 20. Damn, my mm. initial, you know, my initial thoughts were leading me astray, perhaps. The FEFs are kind of garbage. The, the two yeah. the Well, I know they are kind of garbage. That's why I traded away. I traded away my FEF card. And I was like, this thing's oh, right. worthless. They are worthless. I, I gotta, I gotta tread carefully though, because the FEFs were mainly like express uh, haulers, while this was a coal dragger. Yeah. Well, uh, it, 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 it ended up being a coal dragger. That's not what they built yeah. it for. Yeah, it wasn't designed to do that. Fair. This thing got it up being it's the just really good at it. Too. Yeah. I, yeah. I mean, the class also did well hauling passengers on distances, but uh, that that's a different story. Here we see the Redding. Um, East has requested I quickly pop in for a second, Pookie Bear. Um, oh. Okay. You have permission from nobody, oh God. so don't go. What is going on up there? Um, can I find out? Yeah, yeah, I mean, go ahead. Uh, Mew, it's your turn. It's 11 of 4. Yeah. I'll... Hmm. You know what? I'll do evaporative heating surface. Forty-two ninety-four. Oh, forty-nine twenty. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. yeah no, this, I, thing uh, this thing sucks. Combined heating surface. Fifty-six ninety-four. Sixty-one thirty-four. This thing sucks. This thing blows. This is an upset. Damn. Like I, I... wanted the redding. I wanted the win. <laughs> Damn. You know what? Let's make it interesting. Mm -hmm. ET's weight computation. Oh, crap. Okay, time to do math. Where did... Did Agilis just leave and not come back? Oh, he's up there. He came back for a second. I don't know why. ET's weight computation. It's 13 to 4. We've got... That's what, not three right. more until we can go to style points? Damn, this is yeah. brutal. Hello, Agilis. Come on, just spoiled latest train on Amtrak for me. I had an, I had a feeling that was about to happen because uh, oh, right. East just sent it to me. I did it the right the first the right time. Uh, Point five. So, 
Damn it, and I wish I now wish East hadn't sent it to me, because then you could have run the game. And I would have been able to guess. Damn it. Oh well. Wow, it's What'd a bad day again, for Amtrak. Bender? Yeah. Anyway. What'd you say, Bender? Uh, 0.55. Oh. 0.63. It sucks. Uh, 0.55 really suck. is bad. <laughs> they built the worst Northerns possibly ever. 14 to 4. Hmm. Are you telling me my precious 844 sucks? It oh, yeah. It really does. It's, it's really bad. one of the worst ones. The only reason it's, like, adored, the FBFs, is because one of them exists and runs. And that's it. Because otherwise what? it, like, sucks. What the heck? Uh, Robert Lamasina's power computation. Okay. Uh, 30... 30... Okay. 30060. Zero, zero, yeah, that's why I was thinking about it being an express engine. I'm only 22656. Finally. Okay. So there's the point. It's that's... 5 to 14. This <laughs> could be dangerous. <laughs> Crap. Uh, same as a one plus Jupiter percentage. 27187. Oh, okay. 37575. Oh, this is kind of good, but it's not that great. Oh. Hmm. 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 See, do I trust my instincts or do I trust the redding? Do I trust neither? Oh, do I whatever. trust my instincts or do I trust the redding? Let's go with Power L1. Uh, 23,988. 42,803. Okay, it's 7 to 14. We're well past the cutoff for, uh, or we have passed the cutoff for style points. I see. Uh, power MT. Uh, 760.38. 1396 Okay, 814. <sighs> that's that's going to be broken, and I know it. You know, I lose, I lose. Okay. Sub fire box for great area. Uh, 133,920. 192 Oh, wow. Okay, 9 to 14. Back time. Uh, firebox Gone. area, then. Firebox area? Yes. Mm, 465. I see, these things are only good in one aspect. 512. Okay. Uh -huh. 10 to 14. Great area. Great area. 94.4. 100.2. Wow, that's surprising as well. 11 yeah. to 14. I guess they just had huge fireboxes. Huge. They did. And now I have one of the stats to call. Let's go. <laughs> A... Down by three. Have we that... called? Have I called the what? Well, you have more oof. Mm -hmm. <laughs> have you called all the stacks that give you more oof? <laughs> all the power stats have been done. The firebox calc. Okay. Um... Superheating, uh, evaporative, combined. I haven't done evaporative heating surface and cylinder volume because I'll, I'll take the L most likely. <laughs> Okay. Um, cylinders might be a close one. Uh, no, we did I cylinders. Yeah, I. I the Reading okay. engine has bigger cylinders and less boiler pressure. You either have okay. to call something or you've got to go to style points. Is that TJ? It's not, it's no, it's not TJ. No. Like Bender in the background. Bender? Yeah, they're heating surface divided by cylinder volume. Let's go. Okay. 231.97. 236.19. Wow. Okay, yeah. I figured that'd be close considering the variables in play. Right. I just have less and less cylinder. Less to fill. To be like that. Uh, oh, I'm not calling the rest of this. This is a bad idea, as they say in the biz. Can we go to <laughs> style points? Okay, style points. So first, we got to go through judge's choice. Right. Um, what has Which it been picture called? of eight forty four is being used? We did super heating right. surface. Right? I'm using the the one the, with the stack seat. I'm using we, we the less combine. crusty one. 
Okay. Yeah. So we did all the power comps. We did yeah. everything under geometry relating attractive effort. Yeah, we haven't done year Valkyr. No, we've we've done year. Oh, we did no, year. No, actually, we have we haven't done year. No. Can no, I call year? You can, I, sure. We can do year Valkyr. What is year? Uh, my year is forty-four. My year is forty-five. I, I yep. see. Okay, see? there's the point so for the redding. There, there we see the redding. Um, I want to know engine weight because we haven't done any weight stats. Uh, four ninety seven hundred. Uh, 441, 300. Okay, so the Redding is lighter? Yeah. That's, that shouldn't be surprising to anybody, honestly. It was to me. <laughs> I honestly, uh, I mean, it, see, the thing is, the Redding, the, the T 1 just feels like it ought to be a chunk, you know? You're right, but the FEF is just stupid big. And it doesn't look like that because it almost looks lanky because it's a piece of shit. <laughs> Poof. Damn, I mean. Looking at the score, perhaps, uh, Milky. What yes. is your uh, what is your ask? My ask. Um. What's on the table? Uh, Valve gear. Right okay. On. You're not. You're on the friends list. Thank you. Uh, wall shirts. Also wall shirts. Wow. Okay. Anyway, style points. Uh, I want to hear from the person behind. So, eight forty four. What are some style points that you have that? Uh, the T-1 does not. Greyhound. Yeah, you get the yep. pain point, that's for sure. Uh, 844 yeah. is, exists and is run by a class 1, uh, and that's not the case for the Redding. Never runs, retired. not by a class 1. Yeah, the one. never, never, the never retired. retired thing. Never retired. Yeah, that's, that's that, yeah. yeah. Uh, both of us have an air ringer. I would hope. True. Uh, I have 40, 844 oh, hmm. had a Mars light at one point. They it had does Mars light. It does in the photo. It, does so in the yeah, photo. it can have the yeah, Mars, Mars light. light point. I have embossed number plate, which looks way cooler than 2102. Although he has the <laughs> he has the Man. thing, which makes it look cool on the front. I'm gonna I'm gonna call that a wash because you have the embossed number plate of the 844 <laughs> yeah. shield, and right. he has an embossed number plate and also the Redding diamond. From so what I know, I have, yeah. what I have, yeah. I'm pretty sure like the the shield is in the cab floor as well on 844. I think well, well, that's that's kind of baller. It yeah, is they're... really baller. Okay, yeah. I'll I'll give uh, you a point for that because that's really cool. Eight... Okay, you basically. can control a diesel from 844. True, it yeah. has MU. True, it has you MU can MU with diesels on 844. Uh, and uh, I wouldn't DCC. be I wouldn't be overly surprised if they set that kind of thing up in 2102, but I've certainly never okay. heard of it. I have not, not seen uh, it. Casey so... might know. Actually, I could probably see it. PTC. You, you PTC? have a you have a train board. Well, hold, on, train hold on, board. hold on, hold on, because eight forty four is out in front, so I want to hear from the Reading. Okay. Hmm. I stopped after the uh, the diesel control stand. Okay. So, Mew, do you have anything that can get you back on an even footing and or put you in the lead? Tricky, tricky. Um, I try to look at. Or recently restored, I guess. No, that isn't a point. Doesn't count the zombie train, right? Yeah, well, that's... Technic... Okay. If 844 hasn't been retired, that means it can't get the preserved point, can it? No. It, Damn. It, <laughs> you're not, you're not getting preserved. that. Okay, okay. I mean, um, yeah. Hold on, let you, me see have, 844's the... pilot. I mean, yeah. Uh, yeah, damn, it's got it? steps. It's got mini steps. I was gonna do uh, switching <laughs> steps. A forty four coupler can go in and out too. Yeah, I have a Giggity. cast pilot with the yeah. the swivel. Which is, okay, actually, I guess it's cast technically. Well, I'm trying not to give you the. You could know, I say that's increased... objectively a point? I know it's could objectively say... a point. I'm just trying to go in order. Could I say increased air capacity? If I can't uh, answer with, yeah, no. If we can't answer with the same, so I'll go with, I think, increased air capacity. I and mean, do you have more air capacity than 844? Just looking at the... My, my I... picture has two tanks. Yeah. You have two small tanks on the side, yeah. Yeah, I don't I'm know. I'm going to get, let's see, UP 844. And 844 is class lights? Okay, stop. I'm not lights. asking for 844 <laughs> stuff right now. I'm not recording I'm... it. I am Team 844, so I gotta make sure my 844 wins. Okay, but you're just saying things that aren't getting written down. You'll have to say them again later if 2102 ever manages to get a point. 
I genuinely don't see the air tanks in 844. They must so be like probably, cast under the frame or something. I think they're under the frame or in the tender. That's vibey. Um, I'll put some. I'll say something also that uh, isn't on your picture of 844. I got flags and flag holders. You do have flags. There's always trade offs. All yeah, right. I mean, you, you've got you've you've got a flag. Eddie Azert is happy about that. A forty four can have flags. It can has but the doesn't. To hold flags so what? Uh, what? What of the like seventeen things that you mentioned would you like for your next point, then, Mister Eight Forty Four Team? <laughs> markers. The markers. Okay. Yeah. The markers, markers is fine. Yeah. Take the marker point. Okay. Yeah. Uh, twenty one oh two. Um, based on that picture, I don't see eight forty four having white walls, so I'll take white walls. It had white walls, like. It, it I, yeah, white no, walls. I mean, I have, I have but tried to get back to separating white walls out into their own point, so I'll give you the white walls. No, because um, eight forty four has had white walls. Eight forty four does not have white walls in this picture. If I can okay, give you the point, if I can give you the point for having marker lights, just because. 2102 doesn't have them White in this walls. picture. So, can my point be... I get Jellies is not me. understanding how this game works. I, I, I don't care. I... <laughs> I white walls. Okay, well, then I, will, then I will be no longer accepting anything that you recommend. Can I get okay, uh, fine, points for having parts from a deceased relative? <laughs> no! <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, then we definitely... Did we, the, did we get the cast pilot point in there? Yes. You can get okay, a cast, cast pilot. pilot. Yep. Folding knuckle. 2102. Damn. Um, Stop the count. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> Stop the count. He's out, Chief. He's out. Ah, shoot. I can't see it. I'm can't. looking for it. I can't see uh, I mean, there's, a mechanical there's one, lubricator. There's one thing that I can think of. I'm sure you both have mechanical uh, lubricators. But there's one yeah, thing true. I can think of that you have. That could get you a point. I, I and because the I'm other gonna... idiots are helping, the other idiots are teaming. Uh, I no mean, offense. I, I, uh, I mean, West Coast, West Coast. Okay. West Coast yeah, solidarity. First of all, factually incorrect. Second of all, Wooten. Oh, I forgot For that real? was a, uh, a style point. The type all right, I only want to hear from Bender. What is your next style point? I can't say turret because both of us technically have turrets. Uh, both of us air ringers, both of us feed water heaters. Uh, both of us technically have some kind of hooter. I wouldn't call a Hancock Reach on a hooter. It's it's a piece. It, it sounds awful. All right, it's one of the worst. I, okay, okay, okay. all right. It really all is. right. <laughs> okay. Look, we have. I okay. I have let's, I have dual let's exhaust. Stop where we're at. Okay, here. the the dual exhaust, exhaust is the dual exhaust is fine. Again, there are things that have been mentioned that didn't get written down yet because they right. you were already in the lead. Uh, Twenty one oh two. Do you have a rebuttal? I think I'm gonna guess increased sanding capacity. Um, no, oh I don't God. think I can give you that. Damn. You both have pretty good sized sand domes. My leg is the cascades again. Yeah, cascades. Um, if not, you can uh, you can put in the well. If not, you can put in the towel here, I... and we'll see how far the eight forty four gang can rack up the score, so it doesn't look close. <laughs> can I guess more recently operated? No. When's the last time you? Damn. Um, They're both technically how... in operation. How about what is that radiator in front, in between the air compressors? Um, I think. Both of us no, yeah, you kind of have the same thing um, going on up there. Just okay. where the compressors are. I thought 844 are. just had like a plate uh, to house something while uh, okay. red, the reading one actually had a radiator. Okay, then, like yeah. Up there. Yeah, I'll throw in the towel then. Okay, 844 yeah, gang, what's, what's all oh, wait, your... Wait, wait, I just thought of one, what? if you don't mind. Go ahead. Two whistles. Oh, you have a that bonus whistle. Oh, you got 20 points. Uh, all right, 844, you get that folding knuckle that you mentioned you get yep. the train boards you get the i don't know what else smoke, smoke, deflectors. Flag holders. smoke deflectors oh yeah, yeah i forgot deflectors. about the freaking smoke deflectors those are pretty obvious well the, the, they're wind wings number one they live in the air they don't deflect it 
Okay. Okay, oh, sure. Yeah, we'll. Gone. Yeah, no, that's semantics. That's what they are. Oh, number two, all right. My. Listen, my they're all elephant ears right? to me. They're they're chrome, and his are like they they're just painted. Mine are chrome. Oh, what, are you talking about your golden abongo bongos? Yeah. God damn it. <laughs> A forty-four can hold flags. It that's can. good for you. I'm You're not saying holding you gave, any in that picture. You gave 2102 flag. It, yeah, and I gave you marker picture. lights. It's not like 2102 can't mount markers. I also have roller bearings and all axles. That's. I hope you both have that. Uh, 2102 yeah. doesn't. Uh, yeah, oh. it's one of the earlier. Oh. It's one of the earlier T ones. T dash ones. <laughs> Whip. I cry. I like how it's earlier. It's still a year later than the than the FEF. Yeah. Anyway, all right. Well, it's a uh, twenty-five to twenty. I'm gonna wrap that up there. I don't feel like we can go any further here. Statistically, uh, the Redding seemed to have a distinct advantage, and you. I feel like you could have pressed that if you'd gone down the line of. Uh, if if you got in weight stats, you would have. Yeah. Probably knocked it. Yeah, I I completely did not remember how weight stats would go. And you just need to commit more of your uh, opponent's stats to memory. That's your. That's the trick. We ever uh, had yeah, factor of adhesion. Yeah, we did yeah. factor of adhesion. Yeah, it was I won. sucky. Both of them aren't great, but. No, four point oh nine is pretty damn good. Yeah, it is. It's not the best though. I mean, three point nine nine is pretty good. What's eight forty fours? Four point oh nine. Oh, that's pretty bad. It's not. It's not even it's not bad. It's not bad. It's just not good. Like it's just not like outstanding by any stretch. It's still pretty, pretty okay. Thanks uh, for ruining the A forty four, for telling me it's a shitty locomotive. Well, I, you had to learn someday. For, for but Jaylee, you gotta cope. Example. Anyway, in the I'm, last few I'm, days I've had the SP ruined and now A forty four ruined. I will say that like a locomotive is better than no locomotive, but there are better northerns. There are better northerns. I mean, of course. Never mind. Uh, the. I, I'm against my better judgment. I'm voting for the Redding. Uh, A forty four gang, rise up. I'm really torn about him too because I really like the Redding. I really, I like I, the T ones. I'm torn too. Milky. But Greyhound West looks Coast, awesome. West Coast. Don't forget that. I I don't I, think I can vote for myself. I think that you can't vote. You can't vote at all. Uh, no. <laughs> you have been <laughs> no. disenfranchised. I get to vote my opinion. Like. Eh. Yeah. Uh, West Coast best mo West Coast best coast Milky. Don't remember. Don't forget. The A forty four is not a coastal locomotive. I, no, but it has run to the coast. It's been to the coast, yeah. But but there's a funny fictional wear that owns a T one. <laughs> that also, there's also funny <laughs> that also owns an A forty four. Look, my funny fictional railroad owns a T one. What's your point? Yeah, T mine does. does. <laughs> Milky. But Berkshire's are where it's at. Eight forty four. But objectively speaking, the Greyhound is sexy, so I'm going with that. Damn. Oh, yeah. You know what? I mean, that's oh, fair. Yeah. I, Milky, I was going to try to convince you and say that look at these two locomotives and look at how the game was going and tell me that, you know, 21 and 2 doesn't deserve the underdog win. Because, you know. But, you know, Greyhound, I have to admit, is pretty sexy. I would also like to point out that a T1 has made it to the West yeah, Coast sure. as well. Yes. I know. That's why. It, well, why didn't you say that when they were voting? Man, because I, didn't I figured get, out. I wanted. I didn't have it confirmed yet. I took too long researching. Dude, oh I no, didn't I get remember to say that. my oil point, dude. What the heck? Yeah. What? <laughs> my oil, oil point. point. Well, didn't take now, your multiple fuel I, points. I need my more points. I need more. No, it's twenty-five, twenty-one. That's the end of the story. Um. Point. Anyway, uh, this is not the end of the story for the continuing saga of the Class 1 meltdown, but we do have a bit of a breakthrough. We, ha we have some good news before I get into all the chaos uh, that has been piling up in the news, which is that <laughs> the FRA has issued a rule general re generally requiring two-man crews on trains. Um, it requires... It was a 223-page document for the rule requiring two-man crews except for certain operations that do not pose significant safety risks to employees, the public, or the environment. So it allows some 
existing one-person operations to continue, but generally speaking, the uh, class ones are beholden to two to two-man crews. This is something that I feel like everyone in the rarity community was was sort of holding their breath on, right? You know, we talked a lot about how they're going to do one-man crews, or they're going to institute this, that, like the remote conductors, or some sort of uh, computerized thing that allows them to, to transition to one-man crews, or they're just going to do it, and then it's going to lead to some humongous strike action or whatever, cause chaos. Um, I know, Julius, you had some ideas about how that might play out uh, to get to one-man crews via strike act, like, as a response to the giant railroad strike that was looming a uh, couple of years ago now. But... Then, uh, yeah, God, it's been so long. Yeah, no, I mean, it's... The time has flown. Um, yeah. The, uh, the AAR says the rule is an overreach into an area historically addressed through collective bargaining, and I say collective bargaining has plenty to bargain about. Let's not start running three mile long trains with one person. I feel like this isn't something this is it didn't need to be a rule. Yeah. It didn't need to be uh, a because rule? Of, because of the climate it has to be. Yeah, well, I don't know. I feel like it should be a rule. You know? I, I feel like like yeah, there yeah. are there are areas where it's important like where it's okay to have one man crews but like I, every flight needs a pilot and a co-pilot I don't see why every train doesn't I, I just feel like it should be an unspoken rule you know it's just okay but you know was. you know that's I, not gonna work like come on Bender I want that train until I want to hear now it. it's gonna run five mile long oh. they're gonna have one crew it's Bender. It was, this it was is the un- country where someone won two million dollars from McDonald's because the coffee burned her hand. Yeah. No, 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 you, <laughs> you, no. Have you ever looked into that suit? Not to as oh much as I, am, probably I am going should, to. I'll admit. The, the coffee was over hot, it was spilled into her, like, it was intentionally made extraordinarily oh. hot so that they could sell it. Oh. And there's a certain term in the lawsuit that I am not going to say out loud, and I'm going to oh. write in a spoiler because the coffee spilled into this woman's lap. Oh, oh. okay. Oh. That's fair. Oh. That's fair. I, 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 I put the term in the chat. Oh. Oh. And there's okay. a reason this okay. woman was awarded the settlement she was awarded. Okay? That explains so, a lot. Like, yeah. That's fair. We, we, I, I retract <laughs> my comment then. Uh, this man, I'm definitely demonetized. Uh, but anyway. Yeah. So, like, better. I agree. This shouldn't have to be a rule, right? But it, needs to be a it, it doesn't, like, not treat your employees like dirt also shouldn't have to be a rule. But Bro. here we are. Um, live vert reaction. Yeah, if, yeah, live vert reaction. Listen, if we, yes. if we could worry about making rules on common sense, uh, like, if we could uh, just sort of go with common sense instead of trying to enforce things with the law, we really, I, I don't think we'd need very many laws at all. We definitely no. wouldn't have needed, like, mask mandates, right? Uh, mm-hmm. And, uh, no, sometimes you have to make a rule to enforce what otherwise should be common sense, or at least should make sense. But in pursuit of the almighty dollar, removing one of your crew members out of two means half crew cost, right? And that's a big number for Class 1 railroads, especially. And there's even, in this article, there's a thing about um, uh, a 63% drop in the casualty rate for employees since 2000 and a 27% decrease in the overall train accident rate in the same period. Uh, That is from uh, the AAR president saying, like, hey, we don't we don't need two-man crews because accident risks are going down. But I don't see how you can assess the accident rate for the last 25 years, almost, as evidence that one-man crews are okay. Because it's not like we've tried them. Like, that's not evidence of anything. 
and also the fact that we have 11 states that have passed two-man crew laws already. It, yeah. uh, you know, it, it's getting more and more difficult for there not to be a it, federal statute that just standardizes yeah, the whole thing. It, it's kind of like when they banned the bobber caboose. <laughs> yes. Or, like, interchange cars that are over, what is it, 40 years old? Yeah. Or something? It's like, okay, yeah, maybe if you're an insular railroad, you can get away with a one-man crew in this patchwork of two-man crew laws, but, you know, now you've made, uh, now that the, the law is the law and it applies universally, it means you're not worrying about, oh, we're gonna, you know, go to this state because the, you know, we're, we're gonna go through this state because we can use one-man crews instead of this one. Yeah. Um, there's also a, an article about, quote, execs getting money for record railroad train length uh i don't Ugh. i don't know if that is yeah no. no okay so this was a scripts news which i've never heard of so i can't speak to the uh i can't speak to the veracity of scripts news but they claim that norfolk southern gave large cash payouts to executives for achieving record performance for train length and weight. Basically, train of a certain size uh, doing better with a very large train, I suppose. Which reminds me of a story I read in the book that I just got out of the library about Vermont's granite railroads in search of a photo for Muse Locodome roster. But who is hey. opening sodas into the microphone? Okay. Achilles, what are you doing? You're right, Ajilles. I'll go to the gas station real quick. I don't know what Ajilles is doing over there. Uh, anyway. But yeah, so, you know, basically, uh, we're finding out that NS is the bad guy. Like, if anyone's learning this at this very moment, you've been out of the loop. But there's a couple of heinous things in this article. Uh, but just putting it into words, like putting it into the simplest terms, the focus on operating ratio, which we've talked about before doing the most with the least amount of money. Um, also, I know railroads are already going to the courts to throw out the rule about two-man crews. Um, most of these railroads did not immediately offer additional explanation for why they don't like the rule, but the industry has long opposed such a regulation, and the AAR said that the rule was unfounded and not supported by safety data. Um... Yeah, so there's some controversy here, but with a 223-page rule, I don't imagine that there's going to be too much of that case that isn't totally watertight. Uh, meanwhile, yeah. in NS, the uh, investors are trying to oust the CEO and replace him with somebody you know, that really, based. really, really likes PSR. No, not based, oh, Milky. Not based. No, not very based, bad. Like, way worse. Think of uh, what the shareholders would do. Yeah, exactly. God um, save the shareholders. Money, so, money. Yeah, we talked about this, I think, last episode of the episode before, but basically, it would be extraordinarily bad. Uh, this, I, I don't know what exactly is going on inside NS. That's like this fight, right? But uh, it is a quote activist campaign. Uh, it's because they don't want NF school choo choo you. <laughs> yeah, this they, they wanna they wanna boot out the current CEO, which I guess isn't PSR enough for them because line is not going up hard enough, and they want to no. institute a new CEO who's even more PSR. Um, their current CEO, I believe that's Alan Shaw, is you know on record a few months ago saying. You know, they're standing behind their long-term strategy despite their poor, like, last quarter. Which, again, line went up, but about, I guess line didn't go up enough. No. Uh, NS operating ratio went up 7.1 points to 69.1%. Nice. Uh, yeah, nice. But... And overall, that is nice, memes aside. But, so. <laughs> um... <laughs> But yeah, uh, NS has taken advantage of the lull in volume. Again, there's a lot going on. 
inside NS right now. It's weird to think that CSX is the good guy. It's, yeah, it's weird that that script is flipped. The timeline has become weird. Yeah. The guy who shot Harambe, man. Yeah, he did a lot of stuff. <laughs> uh, this is a dark timeline that we live in. Yeah, where CSX is the good guy. Um, anyway, uh, and we're actually, I have an article, again, from several months ago, sort of just another another page in the continuing Class 1 meltdown, which is that the UP furloughed a bunch of people. A uh, bunch of furloughs, a bunch I of layoffs. I to them. <laughs> yeah, you, you wouldn't have got very far, I would imagine. No. Or they would have sucked you in and burned you out at, like, the lowest price possible. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So, we have the two-man crew rule, so things are per potentially going to be slightly better for all the people working on the railroad, uh, and slightly better for safety, or at least not getting actively worse. But NS is suffering an internal meltdown, which we do not know what the end of will look like, but possibly much worse than NS is doing currently, which just, just when you thought it couldn't get worse in NS. Yeah. Um, oh, speaking of which, there was a settlement regarding East Palestine. Uh, I'm not sure if it is like a reasonable amount considering, but let me, yeah. let me, where did it go? Oh yeah, there it is. I have the article here. NS agreed to a $600 million settlement which is quite a bit of money, uh, yeah. but residents say that it's not enough to cover future health needs because, I mean, these people may well be suffering for the rest of their lives. You know, uh, yeah. they had to evacuate, you know, 2,000 people, and there's like 5,000 people within the, within, what, like 10, 15 miles, so. And 20 miles, you hit Youngstown, and that's not a small city. So, they're you know sort of like Chernobyl. There'll be people that are suffering from East Palestine quite possibly for the rest of their lives. Po possibly people that aren't even born yet that will suffer their entire lives because of contamination of air and water yeah. and things like that. Uh, so, $600, $600 million, maybe not enough, but it's possibly all we're going to squeeze out of NS. We'll see. At any rate, does anyone have any news that is better? Perhaps uh, something exciting or fun, like an anniversary. I do. I have three anniversaries. Oh, well that's three times as fun. Yes. So, coming up in... when was it? In August of this year, they're going to be celebrating it the 23rd, the 24th, and 25th of August. The Naugatuck Railroad which the Railroad Museum of New England runs on in Connecticut, is going to be turning 175 years old. From initial construction? Correct, from initial construction. Gotcha. That's a cool place. I need to get back there. I haven't been back there since I was I was a, a wee lad, uh, and I got to ride behind Flag Coal Company number 75, which started a lifelong fascination. So, yeah, in 1849, the first section of the Naugatuck Railroad opened um, from a junction with the just completed New York and New Haven Railroad north to Seymour. So what is nowadays part of the Waterbury line? It would extend all the way up through the Waterbury um, into Thomaston, Torrington, all the way up to Winstead. And so the Naugatuck Railroad that still exists today, um, they still own the trackage from Waterbury up to Torrington, where the trackage effectively ends. And I've ridden on it a few times. Great place. Loved it during my time in Connecticut. Glad that they're restoring a steam locomotive there, too. Number 103, a 262. And that once, you know, Burke, once it's a eventually restored, it'll be running up there for a little while as well. That is, what, 2716? Yep. Yes. Yeah, yes. I I mean, there, there's nothing officially set in stone about that. It's something that they True. want to do. It's something that there's, like, connections between their organizations. Um, 
I have no idea if that's gonna actually happen or is feasible. I'm. I, I, I hope it is. I hope I've it is too. To... I wouldn't be shocked if it does happen, but I also wouldn't be shocked if they're like, yeah, okay, that's you know, it just yeah. never, never quite works out. I did met, talk to one of the crew one time about it, and they said that the track can hold her, but we'll see if everything else falls into place. Yeah. Knock on wood, it does. It, it's a game of dominoes. <laughs> yes. Good way to put it. Um, and since we're talking about something further south, like 2716, I may as well talk about something else around that area, specifically in North Carolina. So the NC Transportation Museum, the roundhouse that they house a lot of the engines in, is going to be celebrating its 100th anniversary, and they're doing an event for that this uh, May 18th. Oh, yeah, that's, that's right. A bit neat. This was the confusing one. We didn't know if it was actually for the roundhouse or not before the podcast. Uh, Milky yeah, did some digging. For it. Yeah. So congratulations, hundredth yeah. birthday to the roundhouse, built in nineteen twenty-four. Um, what? Uh, oh, that was the North Carolina Transportation Museum. Yep. Yeah, the one and in Spencer. Spencer. Oh, Spencer. Okay, I always remember that one because uh, in Zombie Train lore, we accidentally burned it down. Oof. Yeah. So. I can't yeah. steal. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you'd be surprised what can catch on fire. For example, yeah. a uh, a 300 foot long by 30 foot wide barge being used as a bridge. Uh, or a ping pong New York, balls. Ontario and Western depot. Was or there a the fire? House. Yeah. Oh no! That's why, that's why it sat empty. Um, my oh. my bit of news here, and I'm I'm sorry that I took your spot right here. No, that was a anyway. excellent no, segue. It is. Go ahead. So, apparently, it was also the headquarters for the railroad. I didn't know. Yes. That part. Yeah, it's a really really cool uh, building. I I just forgotten that it had caught on fire. Yeah, in 2004 it caught fire, so that's why it sat empty. But. There is a uh, effort by a New York community to spend twenty-three million dollars to stabilize and restore the former headquarters of the New York, Ontario, and Western Railroad. Cool. Which was pretty freaking cool. That um, it's a really go ahead. massive, massive depot. It's cool. It's built. a beautiful building. Yeah, it was built between 1892 and 1893. Three stories tall. And it's on the National Register of Historic Places. I'm also using this building as my uh, South Bellington, or sorry, my Bellington Depot in uh, uh. on Tolbrent. Um, <laughs> because I found it on the DLS. And yeah, I, I mean, for all of the pain that Middletown, New York has, called me, has caused me, which is where the, the depot is, uh, I'm glad to see that they're putting this together. For the record, if you live in or around Middletown and you're seeing all the brand new traffic signals going up, I designed all of those, and it's one of the most annoying projects I've ever been on. Um, <laughs> what a pain in the neck, because we had some wonderfully incompetent people, from the surveyors to other folks in the traffic group who are now fired. Uh, oh, that, wait, why were they yeah, fired again? Yeah. What did you say? Why were they fired again? Uh, they were fired because the... The uh, sidewalk plans were a disaster, and we got given the, like, survey without any of the, like, underground pipes and stuff. And so we designed oh, all these signals, and they keep finding stuff in the way when they go to drop in, like, the posts. So oh, they, had, we so put, they, didn't do, they didn't do a service penetrating survey? They, what happened was, the first survey we got was really, really bad. So they went back and did a second one, but when we were given the second one the, like, our views of it weren't completely updated. Like, we didn't have all the layers. And we didn't realize that we didn't have all the layers until well after the design was already finished. And it's like, hey, can you go back and, like, check to make sure? Because we keep finding, like, stuff in the way. And so then we went through and we re-put the survey back in. And it's like, oh, crap, we didn't have all the information that we needed when we designed these. And it just made it through the levels of QC without anyone be without anybody realizing what we were missing. Um, wow. 
at the yeah, engineering it's, moment. It's, it's a real, dis- it was a disaster. I'm not going to lie. It was a complete and total disaster. Um, but That's pretty savage of them. Yeah. <laughs> I is Okay, Milky. Uh... Uh, I was, I was, it's, it's, I know what you're trying to do. Sword. I was in the middle of something. <laughs> uh, it's a double-edged sword because, uh, yes, but also actually savage of them. Yeah. Well, and I, I'm so glad that this building is getting some, some yeah love and care. You know. Uh. Also, it was a nightclub at one point, which that's that's <laughs> a little wild. Badass. I assumed the I building had been it. empty because the NYONW just, like, died a horrific death in the middle of the 50s and nothing is left of it. Um, F. Yeah. No, I mean, the NYONW, I, I, I say the Rutland is, but the NYONW is America's forgotten class one, I feel like. Because they died first. Yeah, because they died immediately and completely. Yeah. Uh, anyway, all right, Savage, Agilis. Savage, thank you for the transition. I just got that. Um, <laughs> do you toss the uh, STB, I think. Yeah. Federal regulators, so the STB. Yeah. They uh, approved the expansion and con- revival of a the S, the former Western Pacific Warner Branch line uh, for connecting to a new... Um, Connected to a new short line railroad that will be established and run by the Savage, uh, called the Savage Tooele Railroad, Tooele Railroad, and uh, will service a small industrial park in Tooele, um, outside of Tooele, uh, and it should go through. So we're getting a new short line. New short line lore just dropped, baby. That, Let's that, fucking that's go. Very cool. What's your run on it, Chili's? Uh. <laughs> Something I don't know. They have probably some random jeep, more than likely. Milky, good try, um, good try, man. Four axle power always good. Yeah, four axle uh, power. Four axle power. I don't know. Uh, also, we're getting a new big boy tour, which is pretty based. Um, they kind of cut it short. They they quote it was supposed to go up to Pacific Northwest, um, yep. and they actually addressed that. And last fall, we had anticipated including Boise, Idaho, or Portland. On the westward bound, but as planning continued, they determined network capacity on their northern corridor could not accommodate an extra train, uh, which is some Amtrak ass reasoning. Yeah, I'm rolling. Uh, my eyes yeah. are rolling all the way out of my head when I hear my, that. My eyes. I I know UP's ops, somewhat decent up here. Yeah, no. Uh, bull, bull crap. We need we need uh, we need to go set up some webcams. Shrimply double track the main line. Yeah, mango. And so, it will now uh, be in Roseville, uh, July twelfth to thirteenth, and Ogden twentieth to twenty first. And of course, I'm working, and I don't want to ask for a day off because I'm too scared that I'm going to get fired. So I will not Bruh. get to see it this year. Whip. I might. UP is forcing me to go camping, possibly. Well, uh, but that could be on the point. We'll talk about that when it gets closer. Um, and then finally, uh, my last piece of news before I go to bed. Um, <laughs> the coolest, most based thing has finally happened, and they restored it, and they're going to run it on the main line. Um, Which is? And that would be the restoration of WP-3002 uh back am... into its original OG WP You deleted the link. Oh god damn it. I wanted to click on the link. Why you hadn't um, clicked on it already? You were just like bringing that off off the cuff? Here's well, the, yeah. the link back. I knew I already know everything I need to know about this. Well then I'm why did what do you need to click on it I for? Because you don't want to know the video. I want to watch the video again. What video? <laughs> There's a video in the comments. Oh. Yeah. There's a Where? video in the comments. Um by Derek Carr four days the, ago. Wait, the the Okay, not oh, uh, the, not the football. Yeah, player. there it is. No, the guy that <laughs> bought the engine. Buys a bunch of shit and yeah. stores it and runs them on the main line. I mean we, we like that, yeah. Um so they finished the restoration on three thousand two 
Uh, it's based as fuck. It looks it's really so fucking cool. It's so goddamn hot. <laughs> it's goddamn hot. It is. It's got a fucking M5 that's the hottest thing on it yeah. ever. And um, it runs. And they ran it on the main line. Um, if only there were a Western up. Pacific branch or some such thing that yeah. they could potentially right. have run this on. Hmm. Well, the branch isn't around yet. It also belongs to the Ogden Union Station. Um, so it's going to go up to Ogden and probably rot away at Damn. the museum. Uh, but in reality, they actually want to have active running displays now. So, Wow. That's cool. Are they going to run the Where... navigation consolidation? How about they restore uh, two twenty three? Don't even get me started on their narrow gate on that damn thing. Don't even it's, it's get me It's been started. a it's been a while since the jellies was riled up about two twenty three. Oh god, don't get me started. Oh my goodness. Uh, if they want to deassess in the stuff that they don't have on property, they can call me. Don't even get me started on that piece of shit. Okay, okay. <laughs> How about we meme about the centennial then? No, I think I think it would be better if we meme about an LNER container in Belgium. Co coincidentally, True. what their centenary, even though this is a different LNER, was last year. Now, what? They're very confused as to what this like container wagon is doing in Belgium. Presumably, given the age, it's been there since at least. 1948. Okay, like this is like. Oh, hold on, hold on. When when it says container wagon, what exactly does it mean? It's a. It's like a container, except it's much shorter. Think of a shed, more or less. Okay, so it's, like a 20 foot container. Yeah, it's like a 20 foot container. You put it on and off in a flatbed. Oh, and okay. It's, it's intermodal. Mango. Go okay, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, it's yeah. intermodal. It's British intermodal from the 30s. Okay, what is, what is the British equivalent of Mango Gobbles? Uh, tally ho uh, tally -ho, God tally save the queen. God save the queen. Um, they're very confused as to what this is doing in Antwerp. And nobody seems to exactly know what they're looking up, the reason why it might be there. It, it was probably there because of a, a funny event that happened in, oh, 1939 to 1940. Uh, yep. Yeah. Or it could be there because of the funny event that happened in 1944 to 1945. Don't know. Wouldn't wouldn't but that also, be? Coincidentally, it's been 101 years since the LNR was a thing. But the 101st uh, Airborne Division was in Bastogne, which is in Belgium, which is uh, 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 101.48 miles from Antwerp. This is sounding. Uh, this is sounding like the wire fire trucks red. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like. <laughs> it's, I don't know. This is a very interesting discovery. Probably because nobody has any idea what the heck it's doing in Belgium. Yeah, I had to do a bit of a double take, because it was like, oh, wooden LNER container wagon. It's like, oh, okay, cool, yeah, like, they're just digging stuff up. This is just like the the 040 that they found in Canada. Why, wait, what do you mean Belgium? Yeah, exactly. I, it's probably just like the container, I doubt it's the wagon with it, but... I mean, that would be incredibly right. funny, especially if it's yeah, nowhere it's... near the railroad. <laughs> it's on some guys' farms, so they probably bought it after, like, the R private privatization. Just, like, used as a there. shed or something. Yeah. Used as and a shed and then was completely buried? I don't know how that happened. Yeah, I don't know how that happened, which, it just makes me think something. Do they have a river nearby? Was it riffraff? <laughs> Did the White Pass or... own this? <laughs> Uh, no, it's an underground bombing shelter, obviously. Oh, oh, they, yeah. they, they turned the LNAR wooden 20-foot container <laughs> into, a, into a bomb shelter. It, it would mango like, motherfucking gobble. It would protect you from like, a firecracker. Yeah. It merits and that, even like, then... Even then it might for, still cave in because it's wood. This was presumably for furniture removal, though it was probably anything. But also, it's also filled with dirt. Where, where, Whoever did this, they did it intentionally. They intentionally so, buried an LEDR furniture container. The, have yes. they checked to see if it's still full of furniture? Was it someone that just, like... This is basically, like, British 1940s pods, right? Yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, yeah. This this thing was clearly full of someone's ex's furniture. <laughs> and they had a they had there. an excavator and too much time on their hands. Real real truck. This is where all the hundred. Why, of why did they is. bury it? Maybe they both. <laughs> yeah, they, it reminds them of their ex. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's just, it's really that was really funny. <laughs> it's, it's just like nobody knows what it is, but remember to support the Rail Admin team. Ads help support our website. Remove the ads and get full access to premium features around 10p a day. Wise words from our friend here. 10p a day. I don't know what that is in freedom dollars. Uh, like I also don't care. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck's a kilometer? Uh, Anyway, that's all the that's all the news this week. Uh, um, we need we're supposed to do well maintenance of way, which I've sort of been interspersing through this whole thing with my frustrations about. Uh, oh. If you have photos for uh, like, for example, uh, Sumter Valley nineteen, that would be one. Oh or fuck! If, I don't know what I just did. Sorry. If you well, more, if more you questions. happen to know. Uh, if you can get me in touch with Martin Hansen, or if you can get me in touch with this, uh, well, this, if you have any photos of, um, uh, Insular Lumber Company number seven, the Widowmaker, if you happen to be the dead British guy who has a really good photo that I'd like to use, but I have no way of contacting, like, whoever has the rights to the photo now, and I might, like, oh, man, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do about that. Um,. There are so many great cards and so many really not great photos in the coming batch of trading cards. I hope people aren't buying them as, you know, yeah, buying them I... for their aesthetics. If you want to buy them for their aesthetic aesthetics, buy like the previous batch or find someone to trade with because there are some nice looking cards in the first three batches, like really nice. Um, but these are fun engines. Yeah. The oh my god, they're so fun. I mean, the Insular Lumber Company, the Widowmaker. The, the Bulldog from uh, Hawaii, uh, Manana, the Porterfield and Ellis engine, um, the Atlantic, which should not have existed, and Kiso, of course. Uh, I talked about all those on a previous episode. I'm so excited for them to come out. I just, I just need to finalize one or two little things. Anyway... Does anyone have any guesses for the latest train on Amtrak, except for Ojilis and I, because we already know? It's definitely not the eastbound or westbound Empire Builder, and I'm going to go with... Oh, good old westbound. All right, westbound Empire do Builder. Ones huh? that have our, do ones that have finally arrived count? N no. No, it has so to be on system right now. So just oh, you, so you have I to take a blind guess. Damn, so I can't say City of New Orleans... What about ones that last arrived like a hundred years ago? Does that count? No. I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess Lakeshore Limited. Okay, Lakeshore. Which direct? Uh, sorry, there's only one Lakeshore Limited on system. It is. Oh no, there are both. East or west? Uh, west. Not nah, east. East. Okay. And what did you say, Bender? A westbound Empire Builder. Westbound Empire Builder. So westbound Lakeshore Limited, westbound Empire Builder. Eastbound. I'm oh, sorry. Eastbound. Lakeshore. Sorry. Eastbound Lakeshore. Westbound Empire Builder. Milky. Southbound Silver Star. Southbound Ooh. Silver Star. Let's go look for that Ooh. one first. There's a lot going on, on the M Tracker. Uh, the Southbound Silver Star is 28 minutes late at Southern Pines, North Carolina. Okay. The Eastbound Empire Builder is on time at Chicago. It literally just left. Oh, sorry. The Eastbound Lakeshore Limited is on time at Chicago. It literally just left. Uh, oh. The Westbound Empire Builder. Is 13 minutes late at Red Wing, Minnesota, or yeah. on time at West Glacier, Montana. Uh, none of those that's are the bad. latest train on Amtrak, as you might imagine. There's a San Joaquin that's an hour and 54 minutes late. Uh, there is an M uh, there's a California Zephyr that's an hour and three minutes, and then another California Zephyr that's three hours and 55 minutes. Um, there's a Carolinian that's a uh, Carolinian that's three hours and 48 minutes late. Um, Holy shit! What the fuck happened? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, there's a service disruption. What bridge stopped working? Northeast Regional. That's three hours late. 
There's a There's an and a cella that is five hours late. and nineteen minutes late. I believe that is the latest train on Amtrak. And a cella is the oh, latest Lord. train on Amtrak. Yeah, it is. There's a wow. regional that's four Very hours ready. and forty six minutes late. Like something happened, and they're all bunched up too. So like something happened. Yeah, there's, the bridge probably. There's another Acela that's five hours and thirty seven minutes late. Uh, that that is the latest train on Amtrak. Um, and that one is one hour and 34 minutes wow. late. Like, the whole Northeast Corridor is effed right now. It's really, really bad. We better have an article on this. Yeah, I don't even know. Like, I, I there hasn't between... been... It would have happened, you know, within the last, like, 12 hours or something. Yeah. Let me see if I can find Sir... it. Give me a second. Service disruption on that one, five hours, 37 minutes late. Yeah. Don't know why, but... It's a picture, of the, another picture of the L and R container. Well, yeah, apparently more lore for it. It's next to a fortress huh. called what? the Northern Citadel from the 19th century. I'm and Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite. Uh, this is my <laughs> favorite box car in the Citadel. Wasn't even, it basically? Wearing oh, out I see what happened. A fucking NJT train obliterated its cantonary. Oh, oh right. That right. Oh, Bert yeah. posted about it. Okay. That's right. The people were getting that... up, up in the middle of the car. I yeah. didn't realize that was yeah. on the NEC. They had, to, they had to. They had to stop all the fucking power oh, because the so no. and any uh, fucking NJT train blew up. So they basically had to fucking stop everything so they could Dang. fix it. Okay. Arrow threes. If this had happened two months ago, we would have been boned. Yeah. God. Uh, well, that's anyway. That's what happened. Yeah, that's what happened. Uh, breaking news. So basically, they had to... Everything had to stop, get a diesel, get towed through the area, and then turn the thing back on. Oh, God. They had to pull everything through with a diesel. What a catastrophe. Amazing. And now they're going to have to send linemen up. I mean, they're probably already up there yeah, fixing stuff, because you can't have the Northeast Corridor down oh for my God. No. more than five minutes. 50 um, trains of gray, question mark? God oh. damn it. <laughs> <laughs> God <Tom>. damn it. <laughs> <laughs> no. What goes around comes right back around. Uh, oh, that's, is it gray with an A or an E? G-R-E-Y. G-R-E-Y, okay. Yeah, uh, yeah, no, I mean, for those who don't get it, if you've never looked at the Amtrak, the Amtracker map, the asm.transitdocs.com, service disruption trains one. are gray. Yes, it is the best one. Like, objectively, it's it's fantastic. Yeah. Um, Except for the new one. That one sucks. It's 50 trains of gray. God well, the it. new one is, the new one's just like, oh, your train is two minutes late, red. Red, bad dude. Anyway, red. uh... Man. We have to do uh, the, the terminations. We need to like end the show. We do. So, Jillies, you're up. You're up first. What do you? What have you got? Um, I think that uh, I want everybody to know uh, I'm confident enough in my masculinity that I watched Fifty Shades of Grey, all of it. <laughs> nice. Uh, Jilly, and so Mountain Pacific is so cool, and I love it. I'm only writing the first part. Yeah. Because that's a oh, lot of Mount. that's a lot of things to write. Yeah. So you're just you're just immortalized with the Fifty Shades thing, like three times. Okay. Uh, I I've been like putting news articles that we haven't covered or aren't going to cover, uh, and really I just wanted a sort of moment of silence for Hobo Shoestring, who was found dead in a lake, um, like in the past week. Which what a like what a unusual sort of internet quasi celebrity to be mourning but I didn't really watch anyone else's train hopping videos and I watched his for some reason so it was you he told was it me that you didn't watch brave Dave no I did not watch brave Dave isn't that the guy who got like banned from Canada yes okay amazing <laughs> I know of you brave know, Dave you know what they say brightest candle hurts uh, half as long which isn't yeah. true that's not how candles work, but okay. I mean, I don't... I don't know enough about candles to dispute it. No, no, uh, no This is a very nice thing. So then, so then, you don't... Never mind. Yeah, a moment of silence for Hobo Shoestring. I 
except for my typing in the background, surely. Uh, Mew, what is your termination? Uh, I would just like to apologize again for my uh, ignorance causing me to make uh, um, uneducated comments regarding a certain incident with Hot Oh, Kong. God. And, that's, uh, yeah, no, that's, cards. yeah, I, that is, that, that absolutely horrendous situation, I can't underscore it enough, like, the lady deserved the settlement. Yeah, and it was actually, Definitely. McDonald's actually just went through a giant smear campaign to make her look really, really shitty, and yeah. that, oh, so it was actually completely deserved, and McDonald's is a terrible corporation, you should not support them. Yeah, go to Wendy's instead. Milky, this is Literally. the whole film. Holy crap. Yes. <laughs> they took the whole film. Okay, so my termination is The General, the the famous Buster Keen movie, in its entirety, because it's public uh, domain. Awesome. Based. That means we could use any of the shots from this movie for trading cards. We... I mean, if we did, like, an op and e four foot. Wait a minute. An Oregon Pacific American was the star in this movie. Hey, yo. Okay, but what For about... I know what we're going to do today. Well, that versus the P&E engines. <laughs> uh, yes. No, I mean, we could always... I mean, what is the attractive effort of Buster Keaton? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Can, well, can we, we get, get that hand Keaton? car going. <laughs> yeah, can we have him on the hand car as a helper car? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Please. Buster Keaton on a hand car. Did Buster Keaton win any, like, Academy Awards sort of thing? Because that would be in the stats. No, it was, not, it was, it was a flop at the time. No, just like Man. him ever. Oh, I ever? Think he did. Uh, probably. Anyway, uh, Bender? Here's this nice little picture of a sunset I have from the ninth. That's a nice oh, so this is, that is a nice picture. getting more expensive again, and I, I hate it. I'm sorry, man. It'd be like that. Thanks, Obama. Anyway, uh, anyway, uh, I'd like to thank you everyone. Will... I'd like to thank you guys for coming on to this late night show. It is exactly twelve midnight when we're wrapping up, um, and uh, thanks to uh, thanks especially to Mew, who is the only one not in like Pacific time right now. Um, <laughs> it's like two, you know. It's like oh, separate from you, Alice. <laughs> It's 2 p.m. Well, you yeah, know, I'm I'm I I'm excluded from this. I'm not thanking myself for being here. Uh, Fair. But uh, thanks to all the viewers and to Stephen West because without them we wouldn't have the loco base and the trading cards. And uh, thanks to Virtual Rail Fan for not yet sending us a cease and desist. And we'll see you all next week. In case of emergency, call Conrail. Goodbye. Bye. Bye trading Bye. cards. Bye trading Bye. cards. Bye trading cards.